Morning, Audacious Church. It's time for another devotion. Um, we're doing a series of devotions about relationships. And really the reason why is because we're doing a series as a whole church throughout this whole term about relationships. We started off with a series of messages called At The Table, but really it's our focus for the whole term. So um, each devotion, I guess, is looking at a different relationship or an example, a biblical example of a relationship. And so today I want to look at Abraham and Lot. Abraham and Lot. They were um, uncle and nephew. That was their relationship. But essentially, it's an example of a family relationship. In Genesis 13, there's a few verses that describe something that happened between these two guys, these family members. Verse 12 and 13 of Genesis 13 says, Abraham lived in the land of Canaan, while Lot lived among the cities of the plain and pitched his tents near Sodom. Now, the people of Sodom were wicked and were sinning greatly against the Lord. Then in verse 18, it says, So Abraham went to live near the great trees of Mamre at Hebron, where he pitched his tents. There he built an altar to the Lord. So for today's devotion, let's see what we can learn from this famous pair, Abraham and his nephew Lot. If you read the whole chapter, then you'll see that they experience some classic um, relational challenges, shall we say, to put it mildly, like most families do. So the verses that I just read are describing what happens when they decide to separate. Like when your mum puts you and your siblings in separate rooms while everyone calms down. It's this kind of scenario. They're kind of being separated and cooling off. But the verses that I've highlighted are significant because they show what happens next. Um, we all know that there's nothing that affects our emotions like our closest relationships. No one can wind you up like your family or your closest friends. And in the heat of the moment, we say things that we don't mean and we make decisions that we would otherwise not. Abraham decided in the heat of the moment to live near a place called Mamre, which means strength. That was verse 18 that I read. But Lot chose to live near a place called Sodom. And the Bible goes on to say, which is where people were wicked and sinning greatly against the Lord. As you continue to read more chapters that follow in Genesis, you can see that that decision determined how things went for both Abraham and Lot. For Abraham, it went well, but for Lot, it went bad. And you can read about that in Genesis chapter 19. Now, conflict in our relationships is inevitable. Jesus said as much in Luke chapter 7 verse 1. He said, it is impossible that no offences should come. In John 16, 33, he said, in this life, you will have trouble. So we need the Holy Spirit's help, not to avoid conflict because it's inevitable, but to make good choices, to use our words well, and to show kindness at all costs when the conflict comes. The fruit of the Holy Spirit um, listed in Galatians chapter 5 is not a list of his actions that negate our responsibility. Love, joy and peace sound like nice things to receive from God, but patience, kindness, gentleness and definitely self-control take some action, some initiative and some responsibility from you and me. So... Next time you're having some kind of relationship challenge, you're arguing, you, 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 you want to throttle someone, we need to ask for the Holy Spirit's help to make good decisions that will actually take us towards God's best for our lives and for our, for our relationships and not away. So before you see anyone else today, why don't you spend five minutes praying for the Holy Spirit's help because you might need it. All right, have a good day.